Put simply, a mixer allows us to combine and mix several signals. We could mix several waveforms from an analog oscillator to create a new one. So let's start by taking a saw wave into this CP3 mixer from Manhattan Analog. I'll turn that up. Let's add a triangle. And a square. We can mix those together and adjust the levels to create a new wave shape. You can see there the square and the saw create a new shape altogether. Same with the triangle and the square. Or the saw and the triangle. We could also mix several sources, like a triangle wave from an analog oscillator. the output from a digital oscillator and a noise source. So here's each of these sounds. The triangle, the digital oscillator and the noise. Let's mix those together. Within the Yarorak format, we've got lots of different types of mixers and some more suited to certain situations than others. This particular mixer, the CP3 mixer from Manhattan Analog, is based on a Moog CP3 mixer circuit, which adds clipping and saturation. So let's push up those levels and start to introduce some clipping. Notice the top and the bottom of that waveform have clipped. We could hear that clipping introducing the sound, we can also see the waves more squared off at the top and the bottom of the waves on the oscilloscope. We can do this on every channel. And increase the clipping by mixing several channels with their levels pushed up. So you can see and hear with quite a squared off, distorted clip sound. So that's now acting as a wave shaper, literally squashing the waveforms as the level increases. One quick thing to note is the CP3 mixer is a DIY project, but the module is now available as the DTM mixer, which stands for a discrete transistor mixer. Plenty of other mixers are available, not all of them clip and saturate, and some are perfectly clean for audio or CV. So mixers, just like in any other format, can mix synths, drums, samplers, vocals and live instruments, and anything you want to put into those inputs. You may also come across modules with varying responses on the potentiometers used to control those levels. A good example of that is the A138 mixer from Dotfa, which comes in two versions, one with a linear response and one exponential. So let's head into the next video and we'll take a look at the differences.